Hi, this is JB again here with Madwire Media here with Jerry. Hello. Let's take a look at the power of branding. Uh, first off, branding is hugely important to your business. Number one, you want to have a professional looking brand. So if you're doing a logo design or you're getting started or you have an outdated logo, get that cleaned up, uh, get it professional looking because uh, that's where it all starts. starts with the logo. A brand is important because a brand is your image to the public. It's, an, it's the image to those visiting your website or your actual store. And a good brand uh, should include a tagline of some sort. Our tagline is converting clicks to customers. Your tagline might be something different. But have a tagline, have a good looking professional brand, and then brand everything you have toward that. Your website, your social media campaigns, your business cards, your packaging of your products in your actual store, your store. Uh, you do have car wraps on your car, whatever you have to do to get your brand noticeable and, and increase your brand awareness in the public and online so that people recognize you and begin to have a sense of what your brand is and the quality that your brand offers uh, just from the look of your brand. So let's take a look at um, and some examples here. We'll use ourself here to get started. So let's take a look at our website. This is our website design. You can see our colors in our, in our branding here. We have orange, blue, that's kind of our main theme, our main colors. We have that chalkboard style drawing style going on here with these sketches on the outside. And then our tagline right here is in this main call to action area here. Services help, con help you convert clicks to customers. So we're offering services in terms of web design, internet marketing that help you convert clicks to customers. So that convert clicks to customers right there is our tagline. That's what we ride on. So you can see that our, our branding carries through our website. Let's look at our team page. Our team page has the sketch theme going on still. So we have all of our different team members and employees and their individual sketches across our team page, which we also carry through into our business cards. So let's take a look at that. Uh, that's the front of our business card. You can see the logo, converting clicks to customers, and the website address all right there. And then our, our generic business card has our little superhero guy, which is something we like to play with, with the superhero theme, and the idea of us being sort of the superheroes of web design. Uh, and then we move through to the individual employee business cards, and it, it has that sketch, which is carried through from the website. So that branding is carrying through. Then we can look at our social media pages. Here's our custom YouTube channel. You can see here that we have the same branding. It looks basically just like our website. So if I flip back to the website and flip to our YouTube channel, you can see that the same theme is occurring here. Same thing going on with Facebook. Facebook, you can customize this middle console area and you can see we have the same branding you know, going on here with our color scheme, our video. It's all tied in nicely into our Facebook page. Uh, we can take a look at a, uh, some examples of some other sites as well. Uh, the Mad Noodle has a nice unique brand to it with the color scheme and the logo and that same look and feel is carried through as well to the individual social media sites. This Facebook page is nice because it actually has a breakdown of the different various pages. You want to uh, kind of show it walking through that Jerry? Yeah if you take a look at the uh, Mad Noodle here it does carry the same color theme that JB said. It's about consistently theming out your design, your logo, your messaging all integrated into one platform. So if you look at the Facebook social media p portion of this you see that it's laid out with coupon sales deals and you can see that you have these pages here that are very targeted with regards to your brand the MAD so we integrated that in with the logo as well uh, just to help further build our brands. So you can look at latest coupons, group deals, gift card auctions but we went and called those pages the MAD because if you look up here um, it is exactly following the same theme as our logo, basically our brand, which is what we want people to be aware of, Mad Noodle. So um, we use the same color palette as we've illustrated here in the logo, which makes sense. So we, we follow that same theme. So as someone sees this site, it's very recognizable to them. Um, it basically is renting space in their brains, and it, it's, it identifies with the consumer on an easier basis and helps uh, increase credibility when them once they come back and actually repeat visitors for sales. Yeah, and that is a nice feature on Facebook. You can customize different pages so you can click like on that coupon tab for example and you can see the 
the content of uh, the coupons being pulled from the Mad Noodle homepage. Actually, the coupon section, if I go here, the same content's being pulled through into the Facebook. So they can basically browse the whole Mad Noodle website directly from Facebook. They don't even necessarily have to go to madnoodle.com, which is pretty cool. And it's got the exact same look and feel. See, it's just the same branding carrying through there as I flip back and forth from Facebook to the actual live site. So. Uh, and then the YouTube channel as well is customized there, same color theme, color theme uh, carrying through. Um, another thing on our site, which we didn't quite look at, but we can cover it real quick, is the Twitter page. You can go to our Twitter page and see that that is also branded in the same sort of a fashion. It has our characters across the top, um, same background theme there, and then some, some of the websites that we've designed there as well. So Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, they're all very customizable. Your brand should carry through all of those. Um, so have a professional logo, brand your whole spectrum of services and marketing materials from your your actual brick and mortar store to your website. A lot of times you'll see a brick and mortar store with a nice logo and a nice storefront. You go to their website and you don't have that same feel. The website looks uh, like a template that they threw together with some text-based logo. It doesn't even have the logo of the store. That hurts you. That doesn't carry your brand through. And so if you want to capture market share and increase brand awareness, keep keep in mind those different things. And if you have a question, uh, don't hesitate to reach out to us.